What's up guys, Lieben Turin here, and welcome back to another Jeff Castellucci reaction video. So I've been hearing about this one for a while, that he has been working on a new song and it's absolutely amazing and it just had me so very curious. And then finally the video came out and I saw that it is 16 tons. So I went back into the YouTube archives and saw a few of the other covers and originals, you know, like Ernie Ford and Johnny Cash and all those things. And I remember it is actually quite a quite a fun song. It has such a nice beat to it, and there's so many things that he can do with this song. So I'm very excited to see how he did this and what he did. And also, I see he says it's a low bass cover. So I'm very curious to know what that exactly means also i was informed to put on the captions on this video so i will try my best to also keep an eye on that maybe there's a little secret easter egg or something there for us uh but yeah let's just dive into this one i cannot wait anymore some people say a man is made out of mud a poor man's made out of muscle and blood a muscle and blood and a skin and bones you've got a mind that's weak and a back that's strong you load a 16 tons and what do you get another day older and a deeper in debt say to peter don't you call me cause i can't go i owe my soul to the company store Cause I can't go Peter, don't you call me to the company the store. Peter, oh, don't you call me cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. Come on. Well, I was born on a morning when the sun didn't shine. I picked up my shovel and I walked to the mine. I loaded 16 tons of number nine coal and the strong boss said, Well, bless my soul. You load 16 tons and what do you get? Another day older and a deeper in debt saying, Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company stone. Trouble have been my middle name. I was raised in the cane break by an old mama lion. Can't know why I told a woman make me walk the line. Yeah, 16 tons, and what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. Say, Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company stone. If you see me coming, better step aside. A lot of men do. A lot of men died, a one for silver iron and the other is steel. Right one wheel, you load a sixteen times. Another day older and the deeper in that saying, Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. Cause I can't go. To the company stone Say Peter don't you call me Cause I can't go I owe my soul To the company store Cause I can't go hmm. That was What um, what 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 I was about to say? <laughs> oh my goodness! How 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 why who, when what where, what just happened? That was absolutely amazing, like absolutely amazing. Like when the song started, I'm like, it sounds it's Jeff, it sounds good, but where's the beat? And then he started bringing the pickaxe and the shovel and everything into, like get the beat rolling and I was like yes that's it that sounds good that sounds amazing and then he did that whole setup it reminded me a lot of um, Headless Horseman the way that he did that as well with the heads and but the overlays of him like being four of himself as if there's not enough of Jeff he gave us four of him I mean come on <laughs> but he, he just li lined them up and then 
the way that he like interacted with himself was actually quite impressive and the singing styles and then the reactions to that particular jeff singing that was absolutely amazing i think it was such a cl clever way to actually do this video in, in in the way that he did it um it was so much fun to watch there were so many things you can um look at and see how the other jeffs were reacting and see which one was making which noise and then one of my favorite sounds in it was like the little chorus part where you can just like dance it out almost where you had the hammer hitting on the was it the pickaxe i can't he, he was hitting something but that that clinging noise that sounded so amazing it 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 really does give so much good how can i put this um, he did such a good version of it while still trying to keep the the essence and the the feel of the original because I absolutely love the Ernie Ford one as well where that beat and everything from that era that was just it's one of my favorite eras of music as well so he kept it so brilliantly in this song and then of course all of those low notes oh my goodness like you you get the high notes from Jeff but then I know it's a low bass cover so you know it's coming but then Every time when he throws it in there, it's like being smashed in the face with a pan. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but you expect it, but you still almost have a little bit of a a screaming fit if it when it hits you. <laughs> I'm talking so much nonsense, but it really is. It, it it just catches you off guard every single time. And I think I found a little Easter egg in the in the captions as well, where um, he was going for that low note um and he's like and the dramatic um a dramatic something to low note f or something like that and i was like wait what <laughs> and then when it hits it was like oh my goodness but i love it i had there was times in the song that reminded me of oogie boogie especially that ending of oogie boogie and then also the the singing with all of the different jeffs reminded me a lot of headless horseman which is amazing i love how much he has grown um i think i said this in i can't remember which voice play video it was one of the more recent ones that i said these guys have grown so so very much if you look at jeff and um like in the, especially in the voice play videos because there's not a lot of him doing solo songs but um especially we are shorter here as well um, he was still very good. He's always been an amazing singer. There's no two ways about it, like at all. But there was times, um, if you compare it, if you listen to one of those songs and you listen to this, he has grown so much. He's gotten so much more comfortable hitting some of these low notes, you know. Um, it's almost like it's a norm for him now to be able to do those notes. Like there's no much effort anymore. He doesn't have to fight as hard for it. It just comes naturally. And that is so amazing to see, especially in a song like this as well, because I can imagine this is not an easy song to pull off, especially in the way that he did it. But again, as always, he just blew us away with it. It was absolutely amazing and well worth the wait. Um, I'm actually, I wanted to have a sneak peek and I was like, Ugh let me not do it because i i want to watch it so much but i also was too lazy to record the episode <laughs> so it was like let me just wait and that's why i went to the originals again and listened to that and i was like i'm so excited to see what he does and he did such a astonishing job with that as well it, it is always such a pleasure to see this man perform and uh, I, i've been seeing some of the um posts on in instagram especially people who follow him and um, some of his fans that just absolutely praise the song and i can understand why it is absolutely done so very well he never ceases to amaze me and every time that i think okay we we know more or less what to expect he just throws in something else that is just amazing and brilliant and well done to the editing of this video as well to have four copies of yourself in a video and still make it look like there's no editing involved like it it's like everyone was there that takes a lot of time to do that flawlessly and this was done flawlessly so well done jeff this is absolutely amazing well well done i i cannot wait to see what is going to be next for him i'm sure it's going to be an amazing song and i'm sure that it's just going to keep blowing our minds i mean 
I cannot wait to see where the future is going to go for him and how his voice is going to evolve even more. Um, I'm starting to think the whole theory of theory of his or of the fans saying that the longer his hair grows, the deeper his voice goes. I think that's true. So maybe I should try that. I don't think it will work. Maybe I should do both. They s no, but they said Earl had a bigger beard, so his voice got higher. And Jeff, so I should maybe shave my beard. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, that was 16 tons by Jeff, and it was so amazing. If I missed anything, please let me know. I was just so fascinated by the song. I, I many many times I look back at s s some of the videos that I've done, and I'm like, well, what's wrong with you? And then I remember that. I really don't sometimes know what to say, what to do, because I'm really just so speechless. But that's what makes it fun. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, um, cannot wait to see what else is. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy. I am thinking I got an idea from one of the patrons that maybe we should do a quarantine only a uh, week somewhere where we do only the songs about the quarantine and parodies and stuff because i know Humphrey made one as well and maybe we could do something like that but um let me know what you guys think as always and then i will catch you in the next one very soon have a good day stay safe cheers